Welcome for the course Electrical Designing and Drafting for the Part 5. So in the previous parts, we have understood about electrical designing okay, and the basics of electrical engineering. Now in this part, we are going to understand some simulation softwares and applications. The first thing regarding the lighting. So for the lighting point of view, we are going to use a dialect software of 4.13 version, which is the latest version available in the market. So via this software, we are going to understand the number of writing fixtures using the Lux levels, which we have already discussed in the chapter three of the first module. Okay. After applying the Lux, after getting the number of writing fixtures, we are going to check the positions as well as the material effects also because when you apply the material effect exact quantity of lighting fixtures you can able to find out because in the lighting calculations we have got one parameter called as cuf nothing but coefficient of utilization factor so where this factor we can able to understand that how much amount of light is going to be absorbed and how much amount of light is going to be reflected so based upon that we can exactly find out the number of lighting fixtures after getting the lighting fixtures, we are going to import and export the same dialects file into the AutoCAD file and we are going to generate the photometric data and the report. So once when you export the AutoCAD file, it will be very easy for you to go with control wiring via the load balancing sheet. So this is the main concepts which we are going to cover with dialects. And next, after completion of dialects lighting software, we have got one more simulation software which is called as the ATAP. So for the ATAP, we are going with ATAP 12.6 version. And before going to the software, we have to understand some introduction and the theoretical part for the ATAP as well as how to understand and how to manage the screen. Okay. Once when you know that what are the things we have on the screen, it will be very easy for you to understand about the ATAP. So we are covering two concepts in the ATAP. One is the load flow analysis and the short circuit analysis. So first of all, we have to make a single line diagram or a one line diagram. Where that single line diagram or the one line diagram, we are going to find out the short circuit in terms of K as well as the load flow analysis. So this is the topic what we are covering with the ETA. Next, talking about electrical project. So after completion of this course, okay, we are going to understand one project. We are going to briefly understand, okay, about a residential building for the G plus six floors, ground floor plus six story. So for the same project, we have a single line diagram where we will understand how actually we are going to distribute the supply from the main distribution board, from the sub-main distribution board to the distribution board to the lighting switch boards. Okay, so single line diagram will give you the complete outline for the project. After this, we are going to see the load balancing sheets. Okay, because when you have the load balancing sheets only, we can able to go with control wiring. And how to place the lighting fixtures, drop over fixtures and the air conditioning system, what is the correct position, how we have to mount, and what will be the mounting height, etc. All those things are elaborated in this project. After completion of your fixtures, placement of fixtures, we are going with control wiring and the circuit wiring. Okay, why the control wiring, circuit wiring? we can able to execute the same concepts at site. Again, we have got the conduit layout also. As you can see, as per the international standards, we have to go with different, different conduits for different, different areas. Like for the lighting, the color is different, the size is different. For the drop over, the color is different, the size is different. Same thing for the security, for the firefighting, for the air conditioning system. So all these concepts are briefly discussed in this residential building for G plus six floors. Once when you're clear with these projects, by default, automatically you'll be getting the skill for the complete electrical designing and drafting because in this projects, we have covered from the basic to the higher level. I hope these three concepts will be very, very clear with this chapter and the part. Thank you for watching my video. 